Hey there, what is going on? And welcome to a new episode of What Else Can You Do With Your Logo? Uh, this is your Rob from Panther Vision, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this effect with letters. Of course, it's done with Blend, with the Blend tool, but uh, this one is like a little bit more complicated. It took a while how to fix this stuff. I mean, how to do this. Uh, I saw this from someone, on, I don't know, on Instagram a long while ago, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates all right so i did it with these colors i'm gonna show okay this one is with in perspective all right i'm gonna create a new artboard and i'm just gonna separate it from the rest so this is gonna be the new one i'm gonna add a what is that a stroke right now we have just the fill you can see the fill here and we're gonna click on the stroke and select the color for the stroke. I'm gonna go with yellow for this. And make sure it's in the outside. So usually the default is the center. As you can see, the stroke is in the center line. And we want it to be outside. As you can see, I'm gonna click on this little thing, align stroke to outside, and it's just gonna put it to the outside. So it's not on the center, not on the inside, it's in the outside. How about that? So. Uh, I also gonna decrease the stroke thickness a little bit more because I think it would be necessary. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it down, press Shift also to isolate it, and there you go. I'm gonna recolor this one to. I'm thinking with this to combine with this one. It could be pretty interesting. Uh, okay, we got the, s the same stroke thickness and everything. <coughs> select, select them all and go to objects what is that yeah objects blend and click make so we start to get a few uh copies here and we're gonna double click on this one on the blend tool click preview select specified steps and increase the copies yeah this one is pretty good i'm gonna click ok right now as you can see um you know the bottom part is visible i mean the logo and as you can see here the top is visible so we're gonna make that possible by <clears throat> clicking on this and go to objects blend and reverse front to back so as you can see now the front is up and we're in perspective now this is uh oh the color is pretty good i like the color uh okay now we're gonna go to object again what is that blend and click expand okay now right click click on group to ungroup it and we're gonna go to the effects 3d okay when you go to the 3d and you got this much layers make sure i i mean make sure you got enough ram okay if you got a lot of applications and you got the Chrome open, if you got a lot of tabs, this thing won't run because probably you're gonna run out of RAM. If you got enough RAM, this thing gonna work. We got a lot of uh, copies of the logo. So anyways, we're gonna click on extrude and bevel. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So the main idea, we got a lot of stuff going on and it, you know, it takes a lot to process for the software. Uh, the, so we're gonna click, uh, we're gonna go to the extrude depth, we're gonna click, I mean we're gonna type in zero and we're gonna go to the off axis front to isometric top. There you go, now it's in perspective. I'm gonna click OK and voila, you also can flip these out, they're like some cards, you know. Uh, I'm gonna go and put a black background to see how it's gonna pop you know so basically it, it uh yeah there you go it, it looks uh, way different with the black background blah, blah, black background i'm gonna create a new copy i'm gonna show you also how to put this uh in more in perspective right now is uh, in, in, in uh you know in isometric style uh, i'm gonna lock the background layer so i can't touch it anymore <clears throat> Select them all, go back to the menu, click on this. Appearance, if you don't have the appearance, go to Windows and select Appearance, it's right here. And click on 3D Extrude and Bevel, so, you go, so basically you go back to the settings. So this is the perspective tool, I'm gonna put the maximum, like 150, 
and uh, it takes a little bit to load and click OK. And now it's more in perspective. And of course you can see the colors got faded a little more on and this one because it's, it's like more realistic but it still looks pretty good you also can like scale it down if you wanna i mean uh you, you also can increase basically the i can lock these also because it's starting to become annoying let me check okay cool you also can increase the stroke or you can't i don't even know oh yeah you can increase it but uh separately yeah uh, yeah of course because every color is like different so ah uh, forget about it so yeah the main idea is this is the the thing and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to check out the other episodes also leave a like and subscribe have a great day bye bye <music>